My name is Philip Caveney and um, I'm here to talk about a book called Sebastian Dark, Prince of Fools. Uh, now I should just point out that I've previously been an author of adult books but now I've moved into children's fiction. Sebastian Dark is set in a mythical medieval world where everything is very very different to what we know and essentially it's a book about a young boy of 17 called Sebastian Dark, funnily enough, who's trying to be a jester. His father, his late father, was a great jester and made everybody laugh. The problem is Sebastian is just not funny. Well, there's a very famous quote by a very famous man called Maxim Gorky, who many of you won't have heard of, but he said, write for children the same way you would write for adults, only better. And I think that's absolutely spot on because you know, children are very, very sophisticated and they know what they like and they know what's right and what's wrong and you've really got to make sure that the kids get exactly what they want. The, the plot of Sebastian Dark, I suppose, is, is, is a time-honoured one. Uh, it's really about the boy trying to be his father, to fill his father's shoes. And of course, in this particular instance, because his father was a very, very funny guy who made his living from making people laugh, that's what he's got to try to do. Now, of course, the tragedy of it is also that poor Sebastian can't tell a joke to save his life. When he tells a joke, tumbleweed goes past and bells toll. You've all heard this kind of thing before. But luckily, he has a secret weapon, and that's Max. And because Max has got this kind of really dry sense of humour and everything, he sees the, the badness in everything, everything's going to go wrong, uh, and, and the timing of that, that's where the humour comes from. So really, it's, it's coming from an unexpected direction, I suppose. Well, let me think now. Is one of the characters based on me? Uh, somebody who tells jokes and nobody laughs. Now, where did I get that idea from? No, can't be. Now, my favourite character, I think, has to be Max. Because Max, I suppose, somebody the other day said to me, he's like Victor Meldrew, that Max. I mean, he's always incessantly moaning. But I actually find characters like that really funny. Um, you know, it, whatever happens in their life, the smallest thing, they will moan about it and moan about it. And it becomes almost as though that's what you expect from them. But, of course, Max also, uh, on moments, pulls off these quite heroic gestures. He will actually defend Sebastian to the death, and he will do these things that make you really, he has lots of ah moments I think is the way I would describe it.